thank you so much for joining today with Marilyn and Sarah. I was praying about our time together and God dropped a verse in my heart to encourage you and it's Isaiah 64 verse 4 and it says, For from days of old they have not heard by ear nor perceived what God has prepared for them on behalf of those who wait for Him. You know, if you're like me, I kind of can get a little bit impulsive and try and jump ahead and make something happen. And this verse tells us that if we'll wait on God, God will act on our behalf. Mm -hmm. And I find whatever God does <laughs> is way greater, far superior to anything I could ever do. So I encourage you to hop on the phone, get on our website. We would love to pray for you, whatever those needs are, whatever you want to jump in and fix and solve on your own. We want to pray that God would meet those needs and help you to wait on God and not jump in front. So get on the website, get on the phone. We love to pray for you. And mom, we have a special guest yes, today. Yes, we so do. So excited, one of my favorite people yes, in the world. Yay! Yes, We are delighted you are Thank here. Laura Harris-Smith, thank you for joining yes. us. We're so I glad you're here. Ladies. Fun to have you, you're fun. <laughs> and you know, Laura, you have this cool new book, The 30 Day Faith Detox. Yeah. Uh, what's that all about? I mean, what's the deal? And, and it looks right out of the gate. It looks like some kind of like health book. Mm -hmm. Is that what this yeah. is or what's well, the Well, it is. It's body, mind, and spirit health. Um, and, you know, it's a book on faith. At the end of the day, it's a book on faith. Uh, but really where it started for me was that uh, four, three, four years ago, I was on the brink of adrenal failure and I didn't know it. Um, and as the symptoms began to manifest and my doctor visits got stranger and stranger and the blood work was going all over the place, my thyroid was shutting down and my cholesterol was shooting up and all, other, all my other organ systems were coming back uh, showing irregular signs and levels. And so when I was uh, actually diagnosed, I knew that I had to make some changes. I was told make changes or die. I was in stage three adrenal burnout and stage four is when all of your organs shut down entirely. So that then explained what was happening to my different organs. And what got me there was a lack of sleep. Sleep is so important. I have a king size life. I have six kids. My husband and I have been married over 30 years. We pastor a church. You can't forget the eight grandkids. You know, life is busy and everybody's life is busy, but I was really sleep depriving myself. And through this, I learned that if you do not go to sleep, your organs will go to sleep for you. And that's what mine were doing one at a time. So I, through the care of uh, a master nutritionist who heard the Lord, she got me on a regimen using food as medicine. Because really, if you think about it, there were so many things wrong with so many different organs that had they put me on all kinds of different prescription medication, my liver, which was ailing by this point too, could not have filtered at all. So we tried to give it very little to do except mend. And that included uh, using food as medicine, foods that were really good for each specific organ. And I was told, if you live, it will take 18 to 24 months to turn everything around. And in six months, I was back up on my feet. I had to go on total bed rest uh, for about six to eight weeks. But uh, I really still believe I received somewhat of a miracle because I was able to turn around using just things God created on the third day of creation, you know, uh, my entire physical picture. And during that time, it really convinced me that God has given us the tools to be healthy. We can use wellness to combat illness. And I was in the middle of a, a book deal with Chosen Books at Baker Publishing. And I just had this sneaky feeling, God is going to require it of me to write about this somehow. So I felt like I owed it to my readers to go back to school. I became a nutritionist through all of this. And here I am, you know, just trying to teach people how to get healthy body, mind, and spirit. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And I love some of the things you say here. Thank now, you. I especially like the sleep thing <laughs> because all my life, it seems like mm. I've required a lot of sleep, mm. you know, and so I think, what's wrong with me? Because mm. then I'd take a nap in the afternoon. But now I see that mm. was a refreshing to me. Even oh. when I'd work all day here at the office, yeah. I'd take an hour mm -hmm. in my office, mm -hmm. lock the door, turn the lights <laughs> off and take an hour long nap. And I thought, oh. people think you are crazy. No, and the way you go, I'm glad that you do that. It's probably a part of your testimony of your stamina. Yes. And the last time I was here, I was 
talking about my dreams book and how important sleep is. Sleep is the mattress of dreams. And so I was convinced then, you said something similar then, and I thought this is the key to her success, <laughs> is that she rejuvenates. She allows the Holy Spirit to minister to her in that ordained time of sleep. You know, people may be watching right now yeah. that are having physical problems. Right. Maybe you're watching and you have an adrenal gland problem mm -hmm. or that's the endocrine system. Does that sound yeah, right? Yeah, well, it, you're, you're, it's interesting because your adrenals actually sit, they're two little nut size shaped deals that sit on top of each kidney, yeah. uh, but they supply energy to the whole body. Sure. So some people confuse adrenal fatigue with chronic fatigue syndrome. Sure. And honestly, I wasn't like worn out, but part of that is I have a really strong constitution, which I'm sure that you ladies I see both do as well. Uh, so I just kept trudging through and that was part of my problem. Sure. So when it finally caught up with me, yes, I realized this is why my body is out of adrenaline. Yep. It was out of cortisol, which is what calms you down during stress. Adrenaline is what you need when you have to put two people on your back and run out of a burning building. You know, it supplies you with every bit of energy that you need. And so when I didn't have any of that, it was having to steal from different organs to get that. Um, so yes, the adrenals are very important in terms of supplying you with your life fuel. But we have people that are watching that are struggling. Mm -hmm. There's a deficiency right. of energy or yeah. there's, you know, physical maladies. And we want to encourage you to hop on the phone and get on right. the website. We want to pray for you. Yes. We know that God is our healer. And, and obviously when you're on the phone on the website, you need to grab a couple of these because this is wisdom. Mm -hmm. And not only do we embrace prayer, but wisdom is an essential ingredient for healing and walking in health in our body. So make, make sure you grab a couple of copies of this. And you know, when you think about a 30 day faith detox, <laughs> I mean, you talk through this whole, whole experience, you know, your body almost shut down, but you came and you took six weeks of basic mm -hmm. bed rest mm -hmm. and some of that. Um, some people don't have the opportunity to <laughs> rest, you know, for six weeks. I yeah. mean, that's hard. Yeah. It's hard to do that. Oh, well, when someone looks at you and says, make changes or die, you're able to go back to your boss, your congregation. I, I don't miss church. I love coming together with our uh, congregation where sure. we, we pastor in Nashville at Eastgate. What happened was I had to go to these people and say, I need you to give me permission to not be at every lady's Bible study. I need you, and even then I would sit at home and cry and be like, they're all there and I'm here. And, uh, but you know, because I was very disciplined and because God was requiring me to cooperate with him. In the middle of that, I was told, your body cannot take one more trauma. It can't take anything, so be very careful. And yet, two weeks into it, I had a very freak fall at my house. I was perched on the back of my couch, uh, talking to my new daughter-in-law, and I spun around and fell off into a glass and wrought iron mm. coffee table, punctured my lung, broke a rib, and I was just day three, everybody was at church, I was at home and I was crying out to the Lord, this is not what you promised me. I know you're my healer. They told me my body couldn't take one more trauma. Now this is a biggie. Uh, I had a pneumothorax, my lung was collapsing. And uh, the Lord healed me that night, long story short, in a very supernatural way, confirmed 36 hours later by another x-ray that showed the rib was healed, the lung was reinflated. So. That was an instant miracle. What was the deal with this other? He was requiring me to learn about rest. He healed all that, but left the, the bruised, you know, the uh, muscles and the pull things around it because I had to rest, doubly so now. So yes, people who say that I, I can't do that, I have to work all the time. Listen, something's out of kilter if you're not getting the amount of sleep that God has really created your body to need. You know, Sarah, there are people watching this program and maybe this applies to you, but maybe you have loved ones that are going through these kind of things. And we'd love for you to call in because we'd love to pray with you. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't counsel, but we pray the promise and the <laughs> promise overcomes the problem. So take a moment, call us and remember, we care about God doing something supernatural in your life. You know, I have a question. Um, in your book, do you address this question as far as God being concerned about our nutrition? Because <laughs> oh, sometimes yes. that feels a little bit well, you know, disconnected. You know, 1 Corinthians 3.16, it, 
it says, do you not know that your body is the temple? I, I talk to my children that way. Like, do you not remember I told you to clean your room? Do you not remember I told you to put your dirty clothes here? The Lord is saying, do you not remember that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? He's asking it in a way that he knows it's going to be easy to forget. Uh, but yes, it's abs he is so concerned with it. In fact, I think we have to pass what I call an appetite test. Um, how did sin enter the world? Through Eve eating. and eating, yeah. Right. How did how did uh, what earth? What Esau? He sold his birthright for a pot of stew. The Israelites right. grumbled over food. Jesus passed the appetite test when Satan said, "Turn all these stones into bread." He said, "Right, no, 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 no. I don't have to go there, you know." And so that is the first test that I noticed that that we must pass: the good appetites, the bad appetites. Proof that food is linked to our faith is fasting. When you remove food, something happens in your spirit and you just go to a whole new mm -hmm. place because you've denied your flesh. Mm -hmm. So this isn't really a fast, but in a sense, uh, it does accomplish the same things. Yeah. You're telling your flesh who's boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I find when I fast, my appetite for God increases, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, oh, and yeah. it's uh, there's such an amazing experience it just it's breaks so me down. True. I mean, breaks me I down because I've done this and I've seen this in my life mm -hmm. for years. And when God beckons me to that fast, I just, yeah. there's nothing like it. Yeah. I mean, completely. So I totally agree. I want to encourage you, hop on the phone. I know you're watching today and you have needs. I absolutely know that. I know you have financial needs. I know you have health needs. You have emotional needs. You have relationship needs, stuff with your husband, with your wife, your kids, your parents all kinds of issues. We want to pray for you. Hop on the phone, get on the website. We consider it an honor to pray for you. And mm -hmm. as you're there, make sure you grab a couple of copies, the 30 day faith detox, because this will be a tremendous resource, obviously in your life, but think about this as well for gifts, because we know people who need, who struggle in their faith, because this is a book about faith, but also struggle with their body, their soul, their spirit. And this is a huge, huge blessing and will bring a turnaround, a revolution in their thinking and in their lifestyle today. Do you need a reset button for your mind, body and spirit? Wellness expert and certified nutrition counselor, Laura Harris-Smith takes you on a 30 day journey that will not only reset and detox your body, but also your mind and spirit. For your gift of $25 or more, we will send you 30 Day Faith Detox, where you'll confront 30 universal faith toxins like doubt, discouragement, and anger and flush them out. Using ingredients from your own kitchen, you'll get delicious recipes for smoothies, juices, soups, and entrees that cleanse your body as you also detox your mind and spirit through prayer and meditation on God's Word. We'll also send you Marilyn's Healing Faith Teaching CD. The first step to receiving healing is having faith that the Lord still heals and wants to heal you. In this interactive message, Marilyn shares her personal story of healing and walks you through the steps of how to be healed. We will also include our healing scripture card for easy reference to God's word on healing. Call or click today for this valuable resource. is one of the most exciting books of my life. Now, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, well, you've read lots of books. How can you say that? Because this is my lifestyle and you're going to say it doesn't work. Too late to tell me that. I'm almost <laughs> 85. This is my lifestyle. Now, Sarah, can you confirm that? Sure. Oh, yeah. I know this is your lifestyle. You know, you talked about sleep. You know, and, and just in the previous little segment right. here, I was thinking about that, how you thought, because Aunt Ethel, 
Remember Ann Ethel? She only needed like four hours of oh, sleep. Oh, I know. It drove you nuts. Right. Because you're like, what's the deal? Yeah. <laughs> and not everybody's wired up that way. Right. So we can't compare ourselves with right. each other because right. then that gets ugly. But comparing ourselves with Christ, mm -hmm. that becomes That's really good. good. So that was just a little rabbit trail. Of course. <laughs> but <laughs> Laura, I wanted to trail. ask you, you said you became a nutritionist through this yeah. whole experience. What are some mm -hmm. things you learned about food <laughs> and nutrition that you didn't yeah. know before? Well, I'm a farmer's daughter and a farmer's granddaughter, so I thought I knew everything. But really what happened was I learned that God has color coded our food, that the colors of our vegetables and our fruits give us clues. The pigments give us clues as to which phytonutrients they contain. So for example, uh, everything that's red, a strawberry, a red grape, a red pepper, it has something in it called lycopene. And if that is there, it's gonna be super good for your heart which isn't that easy to remember, the reds and the heart. Um, if something has a little bit more of a blue in it that makes it a purple tint, like a red, you know, a purple grape or uh, eggplant, it's gonna have the presence of anthocyanin in it. So you've got these different phytonutrients and they each do different things for specific organs. So in the 30 Day Faith Detox, we deal with body, mind and spirit as we're cleansing your faith. And uh, we start out with the scriptures every day. You're going to wake up and you're going to study one devotional with a, you know, uh, scriptures to kind of tether you back to the Word of God on this situation you're dealing with in the devotional. And then you're going to pray emotional healing prayers. That's the mind part of the, the process. And then that day we're going to do a correlating body detox, uh, something for your, if we're on your rela the relationship section of the book, we're going to be dealing with the heart and cleansing the cardiovascular system. And so yes, that's when we would use the color-coded foods. And my goal was that afterwards, after the 30-day program, people could know, oh, if I, my bones are kind of aching today, I need to eat something orange. I need to reach for an orange pepper or, or an orange itself. So that's, education was behind all of this as well. Wow. Yeah. That's and these super are practical. things we don't really know. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why I love this book. Right. And so you should call in and get two. You know, you say, well, I only need one. It's one for me. But you know, folks, you give people flowers. They will. You give them candy. You make them fat. Give them something <laughs> that is going to change them spirit, soul, mm -hmm. and body. Mm -hmm. Call in. I'm, I'm really trusting you're going to get at least two of these. <laughs> the other thing I had a question on, it's called a 30-day faith detox. Mm -hmm. So... Does your faith need to be yep. detox? I mean, that, that feels kind of weird to me. I, I, I remember reading that. I was like, eh, I was shocked. I keep getting me. asked that question. Like, how does your faith become toxic? But I think they just call that life. Uh, oh, you know, right. things will happen. <laughs> trials will come. And it affects the way you pray and believe the next time. Maybe someone didn't get healed that you prayed for. Maybe you didn't get that promotion you thought you were going to get. And the next time you think, Maybe I'm not ever going to get a promotion. Maybe it's me. And instead, you need to say about yourself what God's Word says about yourself. Uh, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. With faith, everything is impossible. So, yeah, yes, I say that on a 30-day platform, we take 30 universal, what I call faith toxins. It might be a failed relationship. Um, it could be that you've lost your home. It could be that you've never had your own home and you want it. 30 things that we really all grapple with as human beings. And then you take one a day. And with a body, mind, and spirit approach, we're going to make sure there is no hook that the enemy has in you in any place anymore. We're really calling it a reset button for your body, mind, and spirit. <laughs> I love it. And I love the fact that we can reset, <laughs> you know, that we can change things. I mean, you may be thinking, well, you know, I'm getting older, I'm going down the drain. <laughs> I don't find that in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I don't find he says, okay, kind of give it up, throw it in. I look at <laughs> Moses. My goodness, he lived to 120 mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he knew Jehovah Rapha, mm -hmm. the Lord, our health, not just healer, That's right. health. I like this book so much because it talks to you about health. It talks to you about your spirit, but it also, it gives you practical ways yeah. to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, to have your mind, the mind of Christ, but for your body, yeah. I mean, you can't treat it any old way. Let me tell you, you're not going to get two for this life. You just mm -hmm. get one. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we have a resurrected body. I'm for that. 
But folks, how about this one? <laughs> and living for the best. So maybe you need to call in for prayer and just say, you know, my mother, she's dying, she's not doing this, or I have a real struggle with my husband and my weight and everybody, mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. You need to get the book. Yeah. And you do need to call in for prayer too. But don't get one book, get two, because you're gonna be a blessing to other people. <laughs> This is, you know, kind of off script because I'm really good at that kind of thing, yeah. off script. <laughs> yeah. So walk me through how this works with your kids. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, and with our six kids, now three are married, but we have three left at home. And for Lent this past year, we took our entire church through it, those who wanted to participate. And my kids were so excited because... First of all, mom hates the kitchen. So this is super easy because that's not where I want to be tied down. It's not my favorite room in the house. So they knew about mom, that it was going to be creative and that it was going to be good and that it was going to be easy. So they love the morning smoothies. Um, you can have meat, you can have chocolate. Um, there's, we have natural sweeteners that are good and good for you. And so really, you know, my kids loved it. I, the, I remember the very first morning I wake up and my, my 20 year old son is in the kitchen. I peek out my bedroom door and he's in the kitchen and he's measuring like for his first drink of the day. I said, what are you doing, Jude? And he goes, oh, I'm getting ready for my saltwater lemon flush. I was like, how are you so excited about this? <laughs> it. But it really provided our family yeah. with a new boost of energy. And now they don't reach for the, for the junk foods mm -hmm. when they're hungry. I hear the blender come on and I have great snack wow. shakes and baby banana split shakes, you know, and, and all made with healthy ingredients and they've loved it. So like the recipes and stuff for that are in here? Yep. Like a baby know. banana split baby shake. Baby banana split, <laughs> peanut butter and jelly <laughs> shake. It sounds right. Baby it's, banana I know. carrot cake shake. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting because one of the things I did not expect about the book was that people are losing all of this weight. I did not bill it as a weight loss book. I still don't bill it as a weight loss book. But on all the, the charts that it's ranking in the bestseller charts, it's in secular places. Someone called me recently and said, I was in this bookstore, it was a famous bookstore, and I, and I saw your book in the cookbook aisle. I said, the cookbook aisle? So people are going to think they're getting juices and they're gonna get Jesus. I mean, it's a book on faith, <laughs> you know. Uh, but yeah, that has been the surprise is that people all over the world are writing me and telling me 10 pounds, 15 pounds, one man lost over 25 pounds during the 30 days. And because of the protein I have you eating and the water I have you drinking, the liquids, it's not water loss and it's not muscle loss. So that's been the big surprise. You know, Sarah, I had a trainer say this to me. What is your goal? Because she was going to start training me. I said to lose weight. No, she said, that's not a good goal. Your goal is to be healthy. That's right. Mm. Yeah, it'll and your goal is to be healthy. <laughs> not just, well, I lost 10 pounds, but to be healthy. Yeah. Now, I want you to be sure that you don't just watch the program, you get the program in your heart because you call in and get the 30-day faith detox. That's awesome. This is my lifestyle. And I'm telling you, you just get one body, right? So let's pray. We're going to join hands and just pray for you right now. Father, I just thank you for everyone watching this program that you want them to have wholeness in their spirit, in their soul, and their body. And you give us principles that help us, help everyone who's watching and heal the sick yes. in Jesus' name. God, healing is the bread of the children. So I just send the word, Psalm 107, 20, into everyone who needs healing. And the word heals and delivers right. from every affliction. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power and your delivering power and bless everyone in a special way watching right now. Do you need a reset button for your mind, body, and spirit? Wellness expert and certified nutrition counselor, Laura Harris-Smith, takes you on a 30-day journey that will not only reset and detox your body, but also your mind and spirit. For your gift of $25 or more, we will send you 30-Day Faith Detox, where you'll confront 30 universal faith toxins like doubt, discouragement, and anger, and flush them out. 
Using ingredients from your own kitchen, you'll get delicious recipes for smoothies, juices, soups, and entrees that cleanse your body as you also detox your mind and spirit through prayer and meditation on God's Word. We'll also send you Marilyn's Healing Faith Teaching CD. The first step to receiving healing is having faith that the Lord still heals and wants to heal you. In this interactive message, Marilyn shares her personal story of healing and walks you through the steps of how to be healed. We will also include our healing scripture card for easy reference to God's Word on healing. Call or click today for this valuable resource. so glad to have our guest with us today, Laura. And you know, many of the people watching today, would you please pray for our audience? Because so many of them have health issues, mm -hmm. their faith, they, they're discouraged because mm -hmm. of faith stuff yeah. has happened. They've got some emotional mm -hmm. struggles and you praying for them would be just invaluable. Yeah, I've been there. I would love to. Well, I just want to encourage you. If you are someone who has little energy, I want to just tell you, I'm sitting next to someone who has tons of energy in her 80s because she takes care of herself, body, mind, and spirit. And I, in my 50s now, I feel better than I did in my 20s because I've learned to steward my body uh, and my mind and my spirit the way God intended. So I want to pray for you to have supernatural help today, but that also that God would begin to add His super to your natural and that the decisions that you make body, mind, and spirit would begin to change you from the inside out. So Father, I thank you for uh, my friend here today. And I thank you that no matter what their issue is in their body, even if it's chronic, they are going to be given secrets by you to use wellness to counteract illness and to resolve illness in their life. Father, thank you that their emotions are going to be whole. Someone is really struggling with discouragement, even despair, even to the point of wanting to take your own life. And the Lord says, I have a new start for you. That's not a part of your future and you are gonna live long and live strong. And for your spirit, that you would be powerful in the spirit and be the person of faith that you want to be. So I just speak over you, first, Thessalonians 5, 23, that you would remain blameless body, soul, and spirit at the coming of our Lord Jesus and that He would give you every key that you need to be able to remain healthy body, mind, and spirit. God bless you, friend. Mm -hmm.